Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to another range segment here at Airgun Expo 21. Before we get started, I want to say thank you to Gateway, Gateway Air Guns. I'm going to get this right. And Air Guns of Arizona as our main event sponsors. This segment's brought to you by Evanex. Now, Evanex has some very cool guns. Before I get started, i got to remember to in introduce Angie here, like you guys need to Angie. have an introduction. And, well, I was going to get to that. Oh. But thank you. But that's cool. Thank you. Uh, let's, you know what, let's just start over. How's that? We're going to start over. It's live. It's late. We're all hungry. Sooner we um, can do a really good video, sooner we can eat. Does that sound good? Okay. All right. Let's start over. Please help me. Please help you? <laughs> <laughs> Go for so, it. Oh, to do the really good video. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. Again, thank you so much for joining us here at Airgun Expo 21. We're going to take a look at some Evanex guns, but before we get started, definitely let's say thank you to our sponsors. Airguns of Arizona, Gateway to Airguns. Predator Pellets, Predator International, right? Yep. And uh, this segment is brought to you by Evanex. And we've got a couple cool guns here. They're both in 30 caliber. One is the Cloud here. Uh, this is a pretty sort of like it came out of a spaceship looking air gun. Alien Maybe uh, uh, very alien looking, but it's a semi automatic 30 cal. Okay, so it's uh, got a little bit of a zip. I thought we'd shoot it over the crony, see what it's getting. Now it has adjustable power. I've kind of dialed it in uh, so that we can have just smack in some time on that um, gong. gong there. And I haven't really cranked the power, but you do have uh, about 150 foot per second spread. You can tweak out of that power adjuster if you want to. Um, okay, so I don't know if you've had any experience with this particular gun. No, energy. not at all. Okay, so this unit is called the Cloud. It is, um, you know, I guess they wanted it to be really light, if I'm going to be honest. It feels a little heavy to me, but it, what do you think? I mean, it's not as light as a cloud, but <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, and it's not real light, but it's not super heavy either. It, it isn't real heavy. It does have, you know, it is a bullpup styling, so I think when you get it shouldered, the weight being way back here mm -hmm. is kind of nice. It's very thin. You can see that profile. Right. It is very cool looking in that I do like the color. Mm -hmm. um, I Maybe red and, or yellow and black might be better, but the blue is not bad. I like the blue. It has a big bottle. Let's see, these are, I don't remember, sometimes they come in 480, sometimes they come in 580. Yeah. Travis, do you remember if they sent us the 4? That looks like the 480. I'm trying to remember. That's this, do you think this is a 580? We have Larry that has said this is a 580, so okay. he probably is right. So we're going to go with that. So we got a 580 bottle. Um, you can fill this um, to the gun. It's designed to be 250 bar. It's not regulated, so the bottle can take more, but you don't want to fill it past that 250. Now, I think we just need to maybe put it over the crony. What do you think? Sure. Okay, so do you want to aim at just a blank spot on that bank? Okay. okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and decock this. Okay, so it is now cannot fire, nothing in it. Um, it does, when it cycles semi-automatic, it cycles from an open bolt design. Uh, we'll really talk about that in a minute. So find where you want to be, and then I'll go grab the chronograph. Okay, that's where I want to be. That's where you want to be, okay. No, nope. no, we're, we're not shooting the gong. We're just going to get some chrono numbers. Go ahead and... Kind of tip it forward so I can see where your angle is. Go ahead. You're all right. That should be about right. Okay. All right. Oh, we're a little crooked. Come this way just a teeny bit. I think that'll do it. All right. So then set it down. We'll go ahead and get you loaded up. Now, when I was talking about shooting from the open bolt design, I'll show them this way. When you cock this, the bolt is open. It stays open. So when you pull the trigger, it goes forward, seats a pellet, fires it, and then the air runs that hammer back. So it's air actuated, and it fires from this open bolt design. So every time you, you just pull the trigger, once you cock it, shut it. Notice when I shut this, the bolt is still open. Yep. Okay? Yep. So I have the airspeed in 30 cal semi-auto, and it takes some getting used to not needing to cock the gun yes. between shots. If um, 
now you haven't really played with the bull pups. Mm -hmm. um, because this is firing like this, there can be some air coming out of here. So they've got this little guard that slides over and stops the air from hitting you in the face, which is really nice. Okay, so I'm going to just make sure you're shooting over the crony. Uh, come to your right just a little bit, a little bit more. That should do it. Okay. Now it is a brand new gun and the trigger is a little stiff. So you go ahead and just pull it. It's going to be okay. Come to your right some. There you are. Did anything come out? 836. Yeah, I was about to cock it again. Yep. 836. So once you aim, 835, aim a little lower to your right a little bit. Go ahead. 845. Give me one more. 834. Oh, okay, so it's a non regulated gun. It's staying pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's staying pretty even. So that's pretty, I, I would be very happy with that. If somebody could do some math, we're running the 4475s at 834 feet per second. I'm guessing that's somewhere in the na neighborhood of 65 ish foot pounds. Um, Travis, you doing some math for me? Travis, Travis is doing the math. So um, I want you to rip that gong. So once you pull the mag out, first of all, it's on safe? Yes. Oh, it's on safe. So if you go ahead and pull that back and then just slide the mag out either way. All right. Now you notice the bolt's still open. Yep. Okay, so when you're done shooting for the day, you need to decock it. You don't want to leave this because the hammer spring will take a set and it is a consumable wear part. So if you're cycling, you know, three, four thousand rounds, you'll see your, you'll actually see your velocity come down a bit. You can replace the hammer spring when you see that happen. Okay. okay. So go ahead and hold the bolt back. Okay. And uh, you'll want to take it, uh, put it off, take it off safe. Okay. Now holding the boat, bolt, go ahead and okay. pull the trigger. And now you can shut it. Now you can store the gun safely. Okay. All right. All right there we are. 70 foot pounds. Wow. And a semi-automatic. And I'm running about 50% on the power. So we may be able to get, well, maybe 75 if I really take it up some. But 70 foot-pounds. Pretty good. Pretty decent. Okay, yeah. so we're all on safe. Everything's unloaded. Yep. I'm going to move the crony out of the way. All and right. then I want you to go ahead and tag that gong. All right? Okay. Okay. I always want to cock it between shots. It's like, don't do it! Yeah, it is. It's hard to get used to. It's an air gunner that's not used to... Is that cool? Do you fill it back up? No, I didn't do so anything. I, I think this one... Did. That one's good to go. Yeah. As an air gunner, you do want to... You're just so used to cycling something. Yep. It takes some getting used to to not do that. Go ahead. So go ahead and cock it. And return it. And then slide your bag in. Okay, I'm going to disconnect from the air. There we are. Ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. The 50 yard gong? 50 yard gong. Everybody set on camera? Yep. All right, here we go. <laughs> you got to let it stop swinging, Amy. Oh, that's it. Oh, I love it. I love it. So what do you think of that? I just said I love it. <laughs> you okay, don't have so to. Okay. Go yeah, you don't have to just pop that out like that. So that is the Evanex Cloud. Look, people really love this gun. One, I mean, uh, you're shooting semi-automatic, and so as, and you were firing relatively quickly. So you nailed that thing every single time. That's not bad. Yeah, even when it was moving. Even when it was moving and wiggling, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a very cool gun. It, it does have a threaded. Let's go ahead and shut that. So pull it back and decock it for me. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. It does have a threaded muzzle. I think it's relatively quiet, but if you wanted to add an additional LDC on the end of this, you could do that and it'd be way quiet. So this is, I believe that looks like one half UNF. Uh, it goes bigger when you go to the bigger calibers, but uh, eventually when they get them, 
but right now they are topping out at 30. So available, I'm guessing, knowing Evanex 177, 22, 25, and 30. But yeah. very, very cool gun, 70 foot pound semi auto. Yeah, somebody else wants to shoot this. Anybody else want to shoot it? Oh, my sister Cheryl is like, all right, I'll do it. All right. So, Angie, would you go run that camera for her? Yep. Okay. You want a mic, Cheryl? She better have a mic. We get the reaction and all. So let's go ahead and mic her up. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and just load this magazine up. And as always, if you guys have any questions while you're watching, chime in. We'll do our best to answer them for you. The blue and green. <laughs> I did like the way the blue and green turned out. I thought, you know, I'm not quite sure about this whole lime green thing. And then we started doing all the graphics and artwork for the show. And I said, you know, this doesn't look bad. I kind of like it. Maybe we change our colors a little bit. Although I really do like my black and yellow. <laughs> Bumblebee <Whoa>. TV. <laughs> Air gun Bumblebee. Yellow jacket arms. There we go. That'll work. Okay. All right. Have a seat. Okay. So what I want you to do, I'm going to start you from not knowing anything. So it's on safe. Here's your safe. Look, you see that little red O-ring? Yes. Red, you're dead. That's a good thing to remember. Okay? Red, you're dead. Red, you're dead. Let's slide your uh, air guard back. You're going to cock this. and Then you're done. Go ahead and push it forward. And this stays open, just like we were talking about. Yes. So go ahead and take your magazine and does it slide it in. Does matter which way? Uh, it does matter. You want the pointy pellet end to go that way. And if you notice on the mag, there's a little foot. See that little edge? Mm -hmm. That rides a little groove right there. So you can't actually put it in backwards. Okay. As long as you load your pellets right, <laughs> you can go in the right way. Okay? So now you can take it off safe and go for the gong. It does, like I said, have a fairly stiff trigger pull right now. So just be, you know, be ready for that. When you go from all the different guns we've been shooting, some with like an eight ounce trigger to some that has like a four or five pound trigger, it can kind of play with your noodle a little bit. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yep, just getting the, I think I'm aiming at the right gong. Uh, you are. Yes, I am. Right gong. Okay, here we go. Nope. Hold up. Okay, hold up, hold up. Set down. Okay. There's a wee bit dry out here. Mm. And they do tend, if it's dry, to sometimes have a little cycling issue, but such is the life of a semi-auto. Give it a shot. Oh boy. She doesn't even try to recock it. She already knows. Because she's shooting her, you're shooting her 1022 all the time. All right, I believe you are out. What'd you think? That was fun. Yep. I like being able to just keep shooting. Yeah, that, yeah. that's nice. It's very, very cool to just keep ripping them. All right, well, that's going to be it for the cloud. We do have, oops, excuse me, we do have one other gun we're going to take a look at for Evanex. And I think we have some other shooters interested in this little guy. But we will start off with Angie because she did all the hard work in setting up the scope, sort of. So if you can grab that and bring back our other gem, it will be in good shape. Cheryl, can I hand you these mags, please? Thank you. Ah, oh, there we are, my old friend. You have, is there another mag? No, this one. Here it is. Okay, let's make sure we're cleared. All right, we have an empty mag. The trigger is, here it is. There we go. And we will, where they hit the, oh, there it is. 
Dude, it's on sale. All right, so guys, this is the 30 cal sniper. It's available in basically every caliber, 177 up to 50 cal. Uh, at Aragon Pro Shop, we have the 30s, we have the 45s, and the 50s. Um, and I, this thing, is, we're going to put it over the crony just to verify it's still doing what it was. Um, we've shot with the 4475s and we shot the 50s. At the 50s, it was doing about 100 foot pounds. So we're sitting here right now with the 4475s. You have sighted it in with the um, ATNX sight. Yep, we is, did. We did. Right? <laughs> Was this is the LTV? Is that how? Is that right? Yep. Okay. So this is their simplified version. It still records, which is the key element for me. I don't really need all the ballistic calculator and all these. I don't use any of that. I just want to crosshair, hit a button, and get the recording. So this does that, and it's a couple hundred dollars less. Yep. Or you know, it's some value less. I don't know the exact amount, but it's as I said, it's a simplified version of their Pro, and I think it really kind of fits a niche. If you don't need all those other features, why why pay for it? Oh yeah, it's an answer to their consumers. Yeah, it really is. So we're gonna run some 30 cal. Let's do the same drill. Why don't you go ahead and pick a place where you want to shoot, and then I'll move the crony into place, and we'll take a couple shots. This one feels differently, so I'm gonna go through that as well. Um, this is not semi-auto. It is just a side lever. It is very, very simple. Traditional, traditional valving. Nothing really fancy going on here. It's just a very simple design that has worked for many, many years. And I'm thrilled that they've actually brought this back because it is an exceptional, just a really an exceptional air gun. Um, you all set? Yep. All right, I'm going to grab this chronograph. I see it. Uh, this won't work. It's backwards. I think that will do it. So we've got our mathematician on standby. Are these? Okay. Oh, are you ready to go? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So as you're shooting it, I want you to talk to me about how it feels, how the bolt feels, how the trigger feels. All of those things. This is a very metal gun. <laughs> well, the lever action is actually very smooth. Okay. Very, very smooth, open and closed. You're just a, coming just a touch left. That still looks good. Oh, too much. Right there. All right. All right, ready? Yep. Okay, 1,017. What? <laughs> Oh, and that's pushing it. <laughs> and it is louder. Obviously, you probably could hear that. 103, Rick. 103 foot pounds. Sweet. <laughs> it gets there in a hurry. Hey, Rick, put one 50 cal round in that. Okay, we'll get some 50s. Um, Micah, can you find me some heavy 30 cals? We'll, we'll run a couple of those. I don't think we have any on the table. we got to go find some. No, they're in, there's some inside the shop. There's some inside the shop. Go ahead and take another shot. <laughs> that is smoking. Am I still in the right spot on the crony? Oh, let me check. I got so excited. Turn left, just coming left a little bit. Right there. 1,004. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's really a good shooter all around. I mean, the... Um, there we go. Now it's on safe. Okay. As far as the lever, I mean, it's smooth, both open and shut. Trigger's not bad. It's not like... It's not a match trigger. No, but it's not bad at all. And it's really... Oh, well, and I didn't top it off before we started. So let me, before you do that, let me check where we're at for pressure. Um, right now we're at about 225, and we should be at 250 to start. So, yeah, I mean, this is... Just take, go ahead and take another shot. And I have the heavy 30s here. I'm still in the good. I am good uh, you're coming to your right just a hair. There right. you go. It's almost a year protection. Yeah, it's loud. Oosh. 994. Yeah, that is smoking. Do so you want to try a, a heavy? Sure. All right, so why don't you take this up. mag and put heavies in it, and we'll pull this bag out and put it with the light ones. Okay. 
Safe on? Yep. Okay. Now, this one does use a probe. I'll show you guys how this fills. It take it comes with a probe. I, that little guy will, will fumble you up, that little black end, that little foster connector. They don't come with that, okay? So if you buy a gun like this and you are going to fill it with a uh, quick disconnect, you got to buy that little end. I'll tell you that when we sell something at Airgun Pro Shop and it comes with a probe, we always include the foster fitting because it's really frustrating to get your brand new gun and not be able to fill it. That is frustrating, so we try to help you with that. All right, so there's a little port there. We'll go ahead and top this off. The adjustable stock's pretty awesome too. You don't need any Allen wrenches or anything. It's a little button right there. Just push it down and move it back and forward. It's pretty sweet. The less tools you have to take with you. Better off. Oh yeah. Okay, so we are at 250 bar. You got the heavies loaded? Yep. Okay, math man, you ready? Went too far. Back it up. There it is. How did those load? Smooth? Yep. Okay. Yep. Let's check it. You are... Can you hear me? Probably... Hello? Probably... I think you're right. We're just waiting for Travis's mic to come up. Oh. Okay, I'm live. All right, here we go. Good? Yep. Yep. <laughs> what about it? It's a thump. 1,020. What? 1,020 with the heavies. Another that one? Is 115.54 foot pounds. Mm. <laughs> That's another one Joe wants to take. That is that is hey, Rick, does cooking. that have a hammer spring adjuster? It does. Okay, so we could dial that back. You could. You could it, that is if it's, really if it's not already why? all the way back. <laughs> I hope it's I hope there's some room. <laughs> you want me to shoot it again? Yeah, go for it. Hey Rick, how does that do with slug? That is so smooth. That is what I, I think, that's a great question. Um, I think when you look at the mag, you're going to see that the mag is actually deep enough mm -hmm. to take some slugs. They right. redesigned the mag system to be bigger. So if you had some 302 slugs um, that were relatively short, like right. some 90 grain slugs or something, they're a little dust devil, little baby one. Um, hmm. You could probably, that's a nice breeze too. Uh, I think you could probably run slugs in this pretty simple. I mean, Evanix has always yeah. been known for their power. Yeah. They've been really known before power, before accuracy, right. just to be honest. It just That's just the way it has been. Now, they have done a lot very good recently in improving their accuracy and keeping right. their power. Um, this thing is shooting very good at 50 yards. I'd like to throw some Hades in that just to see. Well, actually, we've got some. So if you want to do that even... We could put a target up and we can do that if you like. Or you want to just see how fast they go? Uh, I want to see what they do on a coyote. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can we can certainly probably make that happen. Or a certainly rabbit to have them walk across the range. <laughs> yeah. The Hades out of this are going to be pretty stout. They're going to be smacking. If, if, probably, if you could dial it back to just under 1,000, you're probably going to have some serious devastation going on. Yeah. What's the weight of the Hades in 30? 4475. Okay. Okay, come to the right just a little bit. There you go. Nine ninety-eight. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Do that one more time. So as you're seeing with this kind of gun, it does have a ten. Just it just kind of drops velocity. Right. Um, that's the way these valves work. It's again, it's not regulated. It's just thrashing. It's what it does. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yep. 991. All right. So that's that. Now let's shoot the gong. Okay. You want to shoot with the. Now you cited this for the 44.75s. Yep. So let's switch back to those. Okay, so go ahead and pull that mag. And when you're all. If you go ahead and put it on. Actually, leave it open like that. Put it on safe. Okay. If it is. It okay. is. And we'll go ahead and move the crony. Can I load the mag even if it's half full? Yeah. Just load absolutely. the rest of it. Joe, you want some trigger time on this, man? Of course I do. 
I'm gonna let you take my turn. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. It's your pellets. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty yard gone? Yeah, fifty yard gone. You want don't forget you want to record it. On your ATM. There you go. We all set on the target? Golly. That hits hard. It's really hard. What's the price point on that sniper gun, Rick? Um, we're looking at, hold on, did it slide around a little bit on you? Let's check that pellet. Yeah, see that one didn't seat, right? Yeah. When you load the magazine on this, <coughs> you got to make sure that you get the skirt with that spring. If you don't, um, they'll jiggle around on you. So you got to make sure you pop it all the way in and get it on that spring. Okay, so a little tip. You're looking at, I think, roughly about 1100 bucks, plus okay. or minus, maybe a little less. All right. In that range. And it, will, it is caliber specific, so the 45 and 50 uh, are a little bit more than, say, the 22, 25, and 30. I gotcha. Can I keep shooting through your talking? Or yeah, 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 go for it. Seems awfully accurate, too. It is. This one's a laser. This one's shooting really, really well. Can I try the hunt? Oh, the only thing I would it. change is a big old can on the end. <laughs> yeah, it's hitting just about the same spot. This would be coyote devastation. That would be a great coyote. Stop game. teasing us, Rick. <laughs> Jeez. I'm taking that to Denver for prairie dogs. It's happening. <laughs> I just need your address, Joe. And we'll just have a little crate showing up your, on your doorstep. <laughs> <gasps> All right, I think you're out. Yep. Yeah, the accuracy seems really good. What do you think? I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. All right, well, let's put some more air in. Joe, you're up, my man. Oh, yeah. Okay, so all of the shooting we did since we gassed it up, all right, so you took a couple shots with the 50s and then a full mag, uh, you're right under 200 bar. Oh, so I'm thinking probably... Maybe three mags max at this power, but that's pushing a lot of power. That's yeah. seven shots a mag, about 21 shots per kill. That's Plus a or minus. 30 cal. Yeah, pretty pushing yeah. it. The only, only qualm I have, I wish this was a true AR stock. Yeah, that's, that'd be cool. that's just me though. Yeah, that would be cool. So let's get you up to, up to pressure here. Help with that. Uh, is this side your load on? Yep, that's it. Make sure. Just make sure you get him in there all the way. Yeah. Oops, you know what? Thought you had to um, yeah. rotate it first. No, no, you don't. Um, and I seated it in there. So, <laughs> Rick, what did you say the fill pressure was on the gun? 250. Okay. I need a pokey thing. Got it. Haha. Sorry about that. Oh, don't worry about it, man. Yeah, you just load one, rotate it, load one, rotate. You don't have to pre pre rotate it. What I do to help get those pellets to seat is once I get them in there, I just give it a tap on, on the, the tap on the surface. Yeah, yeah that's more like a smack for you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, have you used the ATN optics much? Nope. Okay. I had a friend who had one. I've looked. I've looked through it. It's nice. So. Record your hunts. Yeah. Uh, which side you load from doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh. Just get the groove, and it's got a ball detent. It'll mm -hmm. sort of snap into place. Okay. What does the um, on the XT <coughs> on the X site? Yeah. This one. This one here. Yeah. What's the max um, focus on it? Power. Power, power? Uh, it's all digital, so they've got three settings on these. It's like one, two, and three, and back to one again. So I'm not quite sure what this one is. I have to go look at the box. Okay. Um, I will say that when I did zoom in to max, it didn't seem as pixelated as some of their other ones. I, they Maybe they're not taking it as far in their zoom, but it seemed to me to be better than what I have expected in the past. So okay. I think they're doing a pretty good job. It's not like a 24 power. 
And you obviously can use it day or night. Yeah, well, that's the key. All right. Yep. Go All ahead. right. Yeah, I'm putting your protection on. <laughs> yeah, it's loud. It's barky. A little bit. Are you recording this or just shooting? I recorded it. Uh -huh. I hit the button. You should see something in there. Uh, okay, never mind. So what I, is it recording now? I hit the button, so okay. we're going to say yes. All right. Wow. Jeez. Yeah, this one's coming home. <laughs> As most of your stuff is coming yeah, home. You should have brought a truck, dude. Yeah, don't worry about it. I got it. Wow, same spot. Jeez. Yeah, it seems pretty darn impressively uh, accurate. And it's at pushing at that rank, too, at yeah. that power level. Why aren't we shooting this at 100 yards? Well, give it a shot. Go over there and just aim a little high. Yeah. Hold on. We're going to move. We're gonna, let's move the stand down for a second. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to move the camera over uh, and get out to that 100-yard gong. Yeah, 50 yards is too easy yeah. for this gun. Yeah. Too easy. Yeah, this rifle. You just you stretch this one out. Get a yeah, good slug, get a Nielsen slug. Yeah, I think so. Take this thing That's in 200 a really yards. Simple gun too. Yeah. Really. Hammer valve. Focus enough. Side lever. All right. Ready to go? All right, you are set at 100. We got it. You all dialed in there, man. All right. Well. Now you just he's just using the duplex reticles. There's no hash marks. You can change the reticle, but. Gonna see if you. Oh, first <laughs> shot. Come I'll on. I'll stop talking. I am Joe. That is <laughs> the predator man. Yep, Ooh. love. Yeah, this is nice. Last shot. Try the quadrant. Is it gonna hold? <laughs> Don't beat his quadrant target out. Yeah. All right, last shot. There it is. Jeez. Yeah. That's nice. Just put an AR stock on this. <laughs> Good to go. That is one of the suggestions I have made uh, to Evan X multiple times is just make this AR stock compatible. Yeah. Maybe they'll do it. They have a tendency to sort of beat, uh, you know, go to the tune of their own drum a little bit. Yeah. But uh, if they could do an AR stock, that would change, I think, the dynamic of this gun quite a bit. Yeah, it would. It would. Okay. This is nice. They've oh, already yeah. kind of gone the grip, you know, right. why not just make it so we could throw whatever stock we want. Need so to touch more ways. silver on it. Touch more <laughs> silver and maybe some red, some nah, racing strides. Silver. I'm going with silver. I'm going with silver. Cool. Well, I'm glad you like more it. Cow yeah, cow. I like it a lot. Very nice. Yep. All right. Well, let's go ahead and wrap this up, guys. Uh, Evidex products, awesome. Uh, JSP pellets. Awesome. awesome. Yes. Awesome. Uh, very yes. awesome. We're seeing, uh, you know, ATN, uh, ATN optics, awesome. Uh, this kind of a package would be a pretty devastating coyote gun. Yeah. That's why I, this particular rig, is that is its job. Uh, I've actually put this together with this scope for that very purpose to take coyotes. Yeah, I know. Put a hawk on here and... Ooh. I'm talking at night. Yeah. And I want to hunt yeah. at night. So anyway... Well, I'm prairie dog and so yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't have dogs. nocturnal prairie dogs yet. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad you like it. Guys, if you want to learn more about these products, Check them out, www.evanex.com. If you want to purchase here in the U.S., go over to www.arrogantproshop.com. Be sure to take care of you. Guys, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you thank you to all of our sponsors, Gateway to Air Guns, Air Guns of Arizona, Predator Pellets. We'll see you guys. We're going to be back after lunch. See ya. Bye.